Okay, so which of the lights below has the highest intensity? As you can see, the lights are of different color and they also have different brightness. To understand what's going on, you have to look at it in terms of photons. Okay, these pictures help us understand what's going on. The answer to the question is it's a bright blue light, which is the most intense. The reason for this is blue has a shorter wavelength and a higher frequency than red. So that means each of the photons here will have a higher energy because the equation equals HF or HC over lambda. So each photon has more energy. Not only that, because it's bright, bright means that there are more photons being emitted per unit time compared to the dim light. So therefore, overall, the amount of energy emitted per unit time is going to be the highest with the bright blue light. So intensity is defined as the power per unit area. So it's given this equation here, intensity equals power over area. Power is going to be measured in watts and area is going to be measured in meters squared. So intensity will be watts per meter squared. Now power, definitely the power is uh, energy per unit time. So it's got given this equation. And in the case of the light here, the energy depends on firstly the energy of each photon okay, and the number of photons being emitted per unit time, which is basically the brightness. So putting these together, we can see that intensity is depends on both the energy of each photon and the number of photons being emitted per unit time. In this question, the diagram shows a lamp emitting monochromatic light. The setting on the lamp is changed so that the wavelength of the light emitted is reduced to half the initial wavelength. However, the intensity of the light is kept constant. Compare the light before and after the change. Okay, so to understand this, we need to look at the light in terms of photons again. And we know that intensity depends on the energy of each photon and the number of photons emitted per unit time. So here we're halving the wavelength. So it's better to write this equation instead for energy of the photon, hc over lambda. So if we half the wavelength here, we're actually going to double the energy of each photon. We're going more towards the blue end of the spectrum. So the energy of the photon is going to actually times two. Okay, so how do we keep the intensity constant? This is constant here, it says so in the question. Well, the only way to do this is to reduce the number of photons to half the initial amount, because the two times a half will give us a constant amount of intensity. So this is what's happened. The, the light, each photon of the light, is actually going to have more energy, okay, because we've made, gone towards the blue spectrum and the short in the wavelength. But however, to keep the intensity constant, we have to reduce the number of photons per unit time. Uh, to half the initial amount.